Um, can I now respond? Yes, sir. Um, you've made two points. One is that you submitted a petition which I refused to accept. Secondly, you claimed that there was a result uh, released by the APC uh, which you alleged that we gave to them or I gave to them. With regards to the first point, yesterday, yesterday, after we took the first batch of results in this hall, and as we declared a recess until 4 p.m., as I was walking down back to the office, my PA came to me and said that here are some papers that Dr. Bello Fadile, a representative of the PDP, said that he should collect it, that I said that Dr. Bello Fadile should give him those papers. I told him that I didn't tell Dr. Bello Fadile to give any papers to you, return them to him. Because Bello Fadile, after we declared recess, came onto this platform. As a party agent, he's not supposed to do that. And gave some documents to my PA, who is writing results here. And I'm sure some of the agents and some of the press may have seen that. And I told my PA, take back those documents to him. If he told you, I told him, that you should collect it, I did not return it to them. Subsequently, Dr. Bello Fadile sent me a text message saying that uh, there are petitions and he wants to submit them. I told him we don't collect petitions on the platform when we are declaring results. And that then he now said that, well, we should have, I should have left my office open so that they can submit those petitions in my office. I told him our secretary, the secretary to the commission, is not here in this hall. She is in her office, and her business is to receive communications. If they are important enough, she will bring it to me here. I have started collation. I cannot be receiving petitions in this hall, on this platform. And when I replied that text message, he replied again and said, okay, he will see what he can do, which I interpreted to mean that he was going to take that petition or whatever documents he had to the secretary, to the commission. As I speak with you now, I have not received anything from the secretary to the commission. That is with regards to the issue of the so-called petition. With regards to what you said about results published by, uh, allegedly published by APC on his website, you know, I, I do not give results to anybody. The results we announce formally as INEC are results that are declared here. And we have warned everybody to be careful and to ensure that they do not declare results which we have not officially announced. So as far as I'm concerned, I have not seen any results. I have not given anybody any results. So for you to even engage me on that issue, I think, frankly, it is not fair to me. I have not seen the results. How can I speak about something I have not seen? So please let us be careful about what we say or do. And let us not disrupt a process that has ended peacefully and in a matter of hours, we would be able to finish it. Mr. Orubobe, you are a former minister of the Federal Republic. You, know, you are a statement in your own right. So you should be careful about what you say or what allegations or accusations you make. And certainly you should be careful about your public conduct. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you very much.